this is a really interesting work. It's actually, uh, this book is a collection of two works. One is uh, Qin Dongshu's 1941 essay collection, written in the margins of life. Another is his 1946 story collection, a Human, Beast, Ghost. And I used Humans, Beasts, and Ghosts as kind of the collective title for these works, uh, partly to acknowledge that there is a difference between this, uh, this joint collection and the uh, short story collection. But uh, they, he does a couple of interesting things in them. One is with this title, Humans, Beasts, and Ghosts, he's actually uh, doing something of a word game. He's exploring, I think, what it means to be human by setting up this comparison about what is the human, what is the subhuman, uh, or the bestial. And this was actually very important. Uh, it anticipated a lot of rhetoric that we heard later on during the communist period about the old society was really a society of ghosts. The new society turns ghosts into humans again. But he was interested, less from a political standpoint, than from uh, uh, exploring the boundaries between these different categories. So we have uh, one story featuring God, you know, it's kind of a rewriting of Genesis, but God seems almost human in his uh, weaknesses, or even prehumanly infantile. And he actually ends up killing the humans, turning them into ghosts, uh, the humans that he had created to kind of flatter his own vanity. And so he has some very interesting moves in here, uh, dealing with the uh, not just the boundaries between these categories, but how they can often blur and we have a bit of human beast and ghosts in all of us.